Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to convert between grams and milligrams. So grams to milligrams and then milligrams to grams. Now one thing to keep in mind, one gram equals 1,000 milligrams. Let's jump into number one where we have 16 grams equals how many milligrams? Well, each gram is 1,000 milligrams, so we have 1,000 milligrams, 1,000 milligrams, 1,000 milligrams, 16 times. In other words, 16 times 1,000, which is 16,000. So 16 grams equals 16,000 milligrams. When we go from grams to milligrams, we multiply by 1,000. Let's move on to number two, where we have three and seven tenths, or 3.7 grams, equals how many milligrams? Now grams to milligrams here, we multiply by 1,000 again, but this number isn't as easy to work with as the 16 grams in number one. We had a whole number there that we were able to multiply by 1,000 using mental math. When we multiply something by 1,000, like that 3.7, we can actually make this really simple. All we need to do is move the decimal three times to the right. When we multiply something by 1,000, each digit of that number shifts three places to the left. The value of the number increases by 1,000. In other words, we multiply by 1,000. So technically, the digits shift and increase in value, but let's make this simple and move the decimal in order to push all of our digits to the correct place, so to speak. So again, move the decimal three times to the right when we multiply by 1,000. So let me rewrite three and seven tenths here, and let's move that decimal once, twice, and three times to the right. We can fill these gaps with zeros, and that's our answer, 3,700. So 3.7 grams equals 3,700 milligrams. Now let's try that same technique there, moving the decimal three times to the right for number one, and see if we still get 16,000. So 16 here, and the decimal goes at the end of any whole number, Let's move it once, twice, and three times to the right. Fill with zeros here, and we get 16,000 that way as well. To recap, when we go from grams to milligrams, multiply by 1,000, and we can do that by moving the decimal three times to the right. Let's move on to number three, where we have 22,000 milligrams equals how many grams? Well, each group of 1,000 milligrams equals a gram. So we need to see how many groups of 1,000 are in 22,000, meaning 22,000 divided by 1,000. That's going to give us 22. So when we go from milligrams to grams, we divide by 1,000. Let's move on to number four, where we have 5,382 and 9 tenths, or 5,382.9 milligrams equals how many grams? So milligrams to grams, divide by 1,000. Now this number isn't as easy to work with as the 22,000 in number three. So what we can do when we divide by 1,000, we can move the decimal three times to the left. When we divide by 1,000, we push each digit to the right three places. This will give us 1 1,000th 1 of the value of our original number, meaning we're dividing by 1,000. So again, we can do this by moving the decimal three times to the left. So 5,382.9 here and move it once, twice, three times to the left. So the decimal is going to go in between the five and the three. So we get five, 
and 3,829 ten thousandths or 5.3829. 5,382.9 milligrams equals 5.3829 grams. So there you have it. There's how you convert between grams and milligrams. When we go from grams to milligrams, we multiply by 1,000. And we can do that by moving the decimal three times to the right. When we go from milligrams to grams, we divide by 1,000. And we can do that by moving the decimal three times to the left. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.